So by five minutes, I don't mean to say that you can learn to do a backflip in five minutes, but I do believe that five minutes is enough time to inform you of the steps anyone could use to learn a standing backflip on flat ground. Before the actual what to do part, there are three very short points that I want to mention. One, while thinking about doing a backflip as well as going to do a backflip often produces a fear reflex identical to what happens when you fall backwards, practicing simple drills that involve flipping and rolling backwards very quickly breaks the reflex in the same way that boxers break the flinch reflex and sword swallowers break the gag reflex. Two, the better you are at the drills, the less likely it is that you will flail and injure yourself when doing your first backflips. And three, Practicing anything over and over will develop muscle memory, whether it is bad technique or good technique. So be vigilant about technique when you are learning, because muscle memory is very hard to break. This drill emulates the rotation of a backflip. Technical info. The backwards roll allows you to practice making yourself rotate backwards by bringing your legs over your head and keeping your head neutral or forwards. One of the most common errors people do in backflips is whipping their heads back. The backwards row also helps you become comfortable rotating backwards nice and straight. Another very common error is flipping slightly off axis by leaning or looking over a shoulder. How to do it? You can practice this on an incline or on flat ground. You want to squat and roll onto your back, then kick your feet straight backwards over your head, and then stand up after each roll. Make sure you're not doing a shoulder roll, but rather have both hands on the ground to stabilize and keep you straight. Practice until you can. Do it perfectly straight on an incline or flat. Both are fine. This drill emulates the set, the initiation of a backflip. Technical info. This drill helps you get comfortable with a quarter flip backward and allows the exact same motions that are at the beginning of a backflip to be practiced again and again. How to do it? Practice the backdrop from very low, making sure you're landing smoothly on your whole back. As you get comfortable, do it higher and higher, making sure to swing your arms in front of you and kick up to your feet after every backdrop. Practice until you can. Do it jumping as high as you can, looking at something in front of you and extending your legs fully as you leave the ground. Also be able to use your hips to vary the distance traveled in your backdrop. This drill emulates the airborne rotation and the landing of a backflip. Technical info. This skill lets you practice flipping backwards while keeping your head neutral and using your legs to make you flip. Bear in mind, in an actual backflip, your legs, arms, and hips make you flip. Most importantly, it allows you to practice landing on your feet after three quarters of a backflip at a low and safe height. How to do it? First, just practice bouncing your back multiple times with control. Once you can start from laying on your back and kick up to your feet, you should be ready. Lead up to your first attempt with a low bounce to backdrop and kick up to your feet. Then do the same low bounce to backdrop, but kick your feet straight backwards over your head. As long as you don't look back or over your shoulder and don't rush to kick, you will flip over very easily. Practice until you can. Line on your feet every time, flipping perfectly straight with your arms in front throughout. This drill emulates a backflip on the ground. Technical info. The set of a backflip is nearly identical to a backdrop, just more upward and with your knees tucking right over your head. The landing is just like a back pullover. Your success on your first attempt will depend almost entirely on how well practiced the three previous drills are. How to do it. Lead up to your first attempt with two back pullovers, two forward traveling back drops from a low bounce, then on your first attempt, from a low bounce do the same motion as a back drop, but extend your arms and hips upwards instead of forwards, and most importantly tuck your knees right over your head. I've never had anyone who has practiced these drills to mastery flail and fall during their first attempt, but please use a spotter and or a mat if necessary. Practice until you can. Do it spotting in front of you and extending your legs fully before the flip and landing on your feet every time. This skill emulates a standing backflip on the ground. Technical info. Essentially the skill is exactly the same as a backflip on the trampoline but obviously more difficult without the aid of the trampoline. How to do it? Move your way from the trampoline to the floor, step by step, by doing backflips in progressively more difficult locations. Practice until you can. 
do a backflip on each location without 1. Whipping your head back and 2. Tucking before you leave the ground before moving on to the next location. While learning a trampoline backflip is usually possible in a single session, most people will have to build some strength before they get it on the ground. The best way to develop strength is to do the most difficult drill you can do reliably and safely and do it many 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 times. It doesn't matter whether you drill number one or number four. Drill it lots and you'll feel in the morning, I assure you. You'll naturally progress to the more difficult drills as you get stronger and stronger. Please, don't rush anything. Be safe, be smart, and there's no reason why you can't learn to do a backflip.